subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates. Typhoon Mindul has come off of its Category 5 Super Typhoon peak from last night. And it's now a Category 3 Typhoon. Could potentially get a bit stronger before uh, turning extratropical off the coast of Japan. At this time, we have it with winds of 125 miles per hour or 195 kilometers per hour with a minimum central pressure of 943 millibars and it's moving north at 5 miles per hour or 8 kilometers per hour. Very slow movement, but it is expected to speed up as the forecast goes on. The current wind fields are of significant size, as you can see here on your screen. Although, thankfully, it is far away from any land areas. The closest land areas, as you can see, to the southeast of the storm are the northern Mariana Islands. Speaking of distances, these are all in Japan. It is 903 miles or 1453 kilometers from Miyazaki, 1034 miles or 1664 kilometers from Osaka, 1048 miles or 1607 kilometers from Hiroshima, 1078 miles or 735 kilometers from Nagoya, and it is 1122 miles or 1806 kilometers from Tokyo. Again, all of those areas are in Japan, and at this time we have no watches or warnings in effect. The current intensity estimate spread is a bit of a spread, ranging from about 105 miles per hour to 130 miles per hour. We're going in between generally of these estimates at 120 miles per hour. And the current forecast cone from the JTWC, you can see we're not expecting uh, this storm to make landfall in Japan. Although if you pay attention to the wind fields noted in that cone, you can see that uh, you would uh, interpolate that they would go well inland into Japan, which is a possibility, which really screams more to me that even though that this is not going to make landfall, this could still have significant impacts for places even far inland into Japan. So don't let your guard down just because we're not expecting a landfall in Japan. The sea surface temperatures from here on out are cooling off generally, um, but for the, for the next two to three days, it's actually looking generally 29 to 30 degrees Celsius, and then it starts to cool rapidly as it tracks uh, along the coastline of Japan. The HWRF wind swath is generally showing something similar to the JTWC forecast cone, showing maybe some tropical storm force winds coming ashore in Japan, bulk of the strongest winds staying offshore, and rainfall. We're generally looking less than an inch to possibility, uh, possibly up to an inch in portions of Japan. The models are again showing the potential for this to get a bit stronger at, while it's in very warm sea surface temperatures. This is one of the reasons why see, the wind shear is quite low up until the 29th and 30th where it starts to rise dramatically. The sea surface temperatures are uh, remaining steady although there has been some issues with its slow movement of some upwelling which may uh, be a bit uh, may be a bit bad for the storm intensity wise and the mid-level relative humidity there you can see it was on the downtrend. The current satellite appearance um, looking pretty good right now not as good as it was last night of course when it was a category 5 but it has certainly come out of its Iowa replacement cycle a weaker storm and uh, we are still looking for potential significant impacts in Japan even though we're not expecting a landfall so stay tuned to your local weather offices and stay tuned to Stay tuned to 413 here as we'll keep you updated on whatever Mindul does.